Donald Trump Jr.'s email sending shockwaves through Capitol Hill today. Many Democrats and Republicans tonight saying they have serious concerns. ABC's Mary Bruce back on the Hill. Those four pages of emails tweeted out by Donald Trump Jr. rocketed through the hallways and offices on Capitol Hill. Any comment on these emails? They're unbelievable. They keep it coming, don't they? Obviously, it's very troubling. A growing chorus of Democrats say there is no question this is a game changer. Donald Trump Jr. was openly salivating about the prospect of getting damaging information from the Russians. It is certainly evidence of collusion. This was an attempt at collusion. So just to be clear, when you see this, you have no doubt that the Trump team knew that the Russian government was trying to interfere. I would just read what was in the emails. It was in black and white that it was part of a Russian government effort to help Trump discredit Clinton. And tonight, Hillary Clinton's former running mate, Senator Tim Kaine, is taking it a step further. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. But it's not just Democrats. Many Republicans now say they have serious concerns, arguing when a campaign is approached by a foreign government, no matter what your party, the answer is the same. If you're offered it, assistance from a foreign government in your campaign, the only answer is no. So I'm not going to condemn the guy on an email, but this is something that's the most problematic thing I've seen thus far. But even with it spelled out in the emails that this was part of the Russian government's support for Mr. Trump, at least one Republican isn't buying it. Is that evidence that the Trump campaign then knew that Russia was trying to interfere? No, I don't think so. No. So let's get to Mary Bruce live on the Hill tonight, where a growing number of lawmakers, Democrats and Republicans now are calling on Donald Trump Jr. to testify, Mary. David, the number two Republican in the Senate, John Cornyn, tells us he can't imagine a world in which Trump Jr. doesn't testify here on the Hill. And tonight, Democrat Dianne Feinstein is going further. She says he needs to speak out publicly in an open session as soon as possible. David. Mary Bruce and her entire political team on this tonight are thanks to you all.